Look who we can see. Jaljiri Bakshi. Uh, good evening, sir. Taking pictures, sir. Big day. Just your thoughts on this big day. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, Kartavya Path, and the Prime Minister going to arrive in a while from now. Firstly, I think it is a path breaking event. This represents the mainstreaming of Netaji and the INA. They had been marginalized for decades. Not only marginalized, insulted, humiliated. Our first Governor General was Lord Louis Mountbatten and he had given express instructions that not one INA officer, JCO, Jawan would be taken back into the Indian Army. Not only that, their, their, their pensions would be blocked and they would... Sorry. So, therefore, their pensions were blocked. They were not allowed to come back to the Indian Army. They were treated as traitors. It is only when the Janta government came in 77 that they regained their pensions. I'm very sorry to state there was a very concerted effort to try and destroy the role, to try and hide the role played by these people. 60,000 strong INA, 26,000 died. There is the National War Memorial just across. You know the total number of names? 26,682. And this is out of 1.3 million men, Army, Navy, Air Force, from 47 to date. Can you imagine the scale of the sacrifice that in just three years of fighting, 26,000 men laid down their lives and there is not one stone in this country where their names are inscribed. There is not one war memorial. But Should that be second step now? It should be. We have already appealed to the government and they have more or less agreed. We are hopeful that in the next few days, we will, few months at the most, we must complete this process of mainstreaming by having a national war memorial either in front of the red fort or somewhere here it's interesting that you call it a process of mainstreaming it takes 75 years sir for somebody in power in the government to think that this also needs to be looked into because there has been a deliberate attempt to distort our history to you know impose upon us colonial feel-good narratives that the british left because they, you know, we fasted, we spun the charkha and they shed copious tears. They couldn't watch. They were such kind-hearted people that they gifted us as beggars our freedom. I don't think that's true. How can you call a struggle non-violent in which 26,000 soldiers lay down their lives? True. You know, and the fact is that you, uh, the, the fact is that you got freedom because of Netaji and the INA. But... Who got the power? A very totally different set of people who tried to claim that we got power solely by fasting, by soul force, by ahinsa, by getting beaten by latis. That doesn't mean they should all become ministers. Every buffalo has to be in the parliament house. So the fact is, in a scale of values, where you put going to fasting and going to jail, and asking for special facilities a little higher than those who lay down their lives, right. then I'm sorry you are distorting a scale of values which is global.